middle of Crooked Pond Drive, Heather, at this point. You can see some of those trucks behind us. They've come from all over to try to help Oxford fight this fire. The obvious problem, they don't have any hydrants out here. Sally Arriva called the fire in and says it was roaring out of control in no time. And I looked up and there was fire to the, you know, over the tree line. So, so it was really going. Yeah, it was really going. So, but everybody got out. Early indications are the fire started in the garage and was roaring by the time it was noticed. Roar of Boxford has no fire hydrants, and that added to the problems. Being in a town without hydrants can be difficult. Right now, the guys are doing an awesome job keeping the water going. We've had very minimal interruptions with the water. Uh, we've got multiple uh, tankers with probably about 2,500 gallons full in the water. They're actually using a top shield hydrant at this time to keep the pressure going. And they've been able to do that, obviously, but this house is pretty much destroyed. The house collapsing down, the roof collapsing down on everything else. The fire marshal on the way here to investigate the cause, but everyone who lives here, and the family was home at the time, was able to get out. In Boxford, Jack Harper, WCBB News Center 5.